here you can actually see how fast she is going. This is this is close to 50k an hour. Yeah, it was interesting to hear from Demi Vollering after the World Championship time trial where she said, I didn't think so, but I clearly needed a warm-up uh, before the road race. I think she was a little bit disappointed in that sixth place, but obviously a very good performance. And then going on to the second road race. And our final rider off the ramp is our yellow jersey, Charlotte Cole. And we're picking up uh, our Dutch champion. Look at this. This is what you uh, explained before, Danny Rowe, to have your arms even more tucked in and have it like, 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 a, yeah, in front of your face, actually. You're looking at your hands. Yeah, hands to head, they call it. You know, this uh, new position that's become you know, more more known um, as being as aerodynamically efficient as, as possible, being as most aero you can be. Mm -hmm. And it will be it will be different for every rider, depending on your sort of physio physiology and your makeup. But Rihanna Marcus is very tall. So for her, mm -hmm. it's best for her to be higher, but more narrow in the front. And that's what she's put a lot of work in. She also has some 3D printed bars, which are personalized for her. We have uh, the time for Fiverr Georgie coming in, and it's a fourth place at the moment for Fiverr, just six seconds down on our current leader, Christina Schweinberger. So Fiverr Georgie, really good time trial and still well in the mix to do uh, really well in the overall here. Here is Zoe back. So, oh my God, Zoe, you're just making a fool of everyone here saying that 18 year olds have to have growth margin. Zoe Backstead is absolutely unique, and we saw it in that time trial already in Scandinavia, but this was pretty impressive there by our 18-year-old from Wales. Wow. Yeah, no <laughs> words, really, to be honest. You know, to be able to perform like she's doing as an 18-year-old, I feel like these Canyon Shram colours have given her extra wings as well, so clearly really at home already here. Yeah, it's also knowing that you you have your place for the upcoming months, for the cyclocross season. Everything is in place. You've got your right team. You've got your right equipment. She went to the Canyon factory, of course, uh, to look at the equipment that she would be riding. And it's a pretty decent brand because it's actually the same brand that much of on the pool rides as well. Yeah, and I think that consistency <laughs> throughout her, you know, multidisciplined focus will just work so well for her. Uh, having that team behind the scenes uh, and she is she can be confident she signed the contract until <laughs> the end of 2026 so she can just purely focus on her own performances she's another rider that from the outside looks like she just loves what she's doing yeah um, she's and that shows in fun. the way that she yeah. yeah and that's just shows in the way that she she rides and, and races and i know the whole of the team of, of ef education tibco silicon valley bank were we're really sad to see her go and just complimented the type of person that she is both on and off the bike. Yeah, one of the other uh, World Two teams not here, our E of Education, Tipco. Um, Rihanna Marcus, yeah, look at that suit. It's just uh, glistening in the sunshine, isn't it? It's like it's got a rubbery feel to it. It's completely aerodynamic, wind tunnel proven, etc. But Anna Henderson is uh, is showing some great form as well. It's great to see, Danny, that everything is so, so close together. Just a second behind Zoe there. So uh, some really solid performances. But I do expect this uh, woman to go even faster than, uh, than Zoe Backstedt. Lots of Kopecky attacking this race there. Beautiful national jersey. I think she's got four national championships in a row in the time trial, something like that. She is uh, undefeated and she will be going to the uh, European Championships as well that take place in uh, two weeks from now in, uh, in my home region of Drenthe in the northeast of the Netherlands. Another rider that looks like she's really attacking the bike, doesn't she, on such a short course as well. There's no time to waste here. You've got to be warmed up at the start. Of course, they will be warm after yesterday's race, but there'll be a warm-up protocol put in place that will be worked back from from uh, the start time. Demi Vollering now, though. Where is she going to finish? It's not going to be enough. To but go it's so, so spot. close. Everybody's so close together, and, and we're really, really preparing ourselves for such an amazing battle on the weekend uh, in the stages around Valkenburg in, uh, in Arnhem. We are, so fourth for Demi Vollering, finishing at 9 minutes and 14 seconds. So four seconds down on uh, Zoe Backstead. 
Current top five, Zoe Backstedt leads one second on Anna Henderson. Christina Schweinberger currently in third, Demi Vollering in fourth, and Georgia Baker in fifth place. And look at that. There is uh, Lotta Kopecki. Everybody's preparing their phone. She is racing through that corner. There she is, and this is going to be a fastest time. It's going to be under nine. No, it's just over that nine-minute mark. But look at that, almost 48 kilometers an hour average. Lotte Kopecki is our new race leader.